Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Online. In the last episode, we went around uh, to the different uh, city-states to hear the speeches by the various heads of the grand companies in the various cities. Uh, went through all of those, and then we had to make a decision as to which grand company we were eventually going to join. And the ultimate decision we made was we were going to go ahead and join the Maelstrom for several reasons. One, I'm a fan of Merlvib, and two, I like their colors, and three, um, because all of their soldiers are called like Storm Privates and Storm Lieutenants and everything, um, it kind of fits with my moniker. So, that is where we're going. So... Um, and then we had a mission basically fall on our lap where we had to go out and rescue the engineers of a brand new airship that got shot down by the Empire. So we did that, and now we are back to be properly inducted into the Maelstrom. So that is what we're going to work on now. Alright, personnel officer stands ready to complete your induction into the ranks. Let's do it. Let us start afresh, shall we? You are welcome here, Yami Yatsurugi. That such a well-respected adventurer would choose to join our ranks is most heartening. Before you swear your allegiance to us, however, it is only right that I tell you exactly what it is that you will be joining. A grand company is more than simply a collection of soldiers, it is an all-encompassing organization which draws upon the resources of an entire city-state to form a united military force capable of standing against a nation's deadliest enemies. We of the Maelstrom are charged with meeting the threats posed by the Primals and the Garlean Empire, and solving the many problems caused by the Calamity. Every man and woman who serves under our colors has a role to play in keeping the great warship it is Limsa Lominsa afloat and on whatever heading Chief Admiral Verbib Blofus Vin sees fit to set. As part of this grand vessel's crew, you will be expected to take your turn at the oars, for the winds do not look favorable, alas, and strength of arm may be all that sees us safe to port. If I've lost you with uh, talk of ship and oar, let me put it another way. A Maelstrom soldier labors till her last breath Fights till her last drop of blood. We give our all in service to this nation, and no less is expected of you. As Rugi, it is customary for new recruits to swear an oath of their own, choosing upon entering the Maelstrom's rank. It is aught. Is there aught you'd like to say? Uh, let's see. You have my sword till sea swells all. What skills I have are yours. I'll follow your, the Admiral to the very bottom of the abyss. Um, well, I don't use a sword yet. Um, what, what skills I have are yours till sea swallows all. Ah, yes, the many and varied skills of the adventurer. I have no doubt that your travels have furnished you with such knowledge as will prove invaluable to our cause. Ayami Yatsurugi, I hereby assign you the rank of Storm Private 3rd Class. You are now officially a soldier of the Maelstrom. Welcome aboard, Private. May you serve Limsa Limsa well till sea swallows all. Oh, getting a call. Uh, it's Minfilia. Can you hear me, Ayame? This is Minfilia. An officer of the Maelstrom contacted me with news of your enlistment. My congratulations, Private Yatsurugi. I have no doubt that you are eager to make the acquaintance of your new comrades, but I would ask that you pay a visit to your old ones first. Remember, though you are now a woman of the storm, you are no less a scion. Pray return to the Waking Sands at your earliest convenience. There are some friends here whom I would very much like you to meet. We shall be waiting. 
back to the Waking Sands again. All right. Storm Private, third class. Delivery missions unlocked. And can I now... Hold on, let's see, what can I get? I have... No... Uh, currency. There's all kinds of stuff that you can actually buy from the grand companies. Storm Chocobo Issuance. I would need 200 Storm Mark Bills. Let's see. Or Company Seals is what they're called, actually. Company Seals. Um, I don't think 200 is hard to come by. Um, I guess we should head back to the Maelstrom, well not the Maelstrom, the, uh, oh, the Waking Sands. And as usual, I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording while I run over there because it's kind of stupid long each time I get on a run. Alright, so I will be back in a moment. Alright, here we are, back at the Waking Sands. It would have been really nice if they had given us some sort of direct teleport, but uh, it is what it is. All right, Waking Sands entrance. All right, sign of the seventh dawn. Hello. Welcome back, Ayame. Lady Minfilia awaits you within. Yes, I know. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why, the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics. The pride in his voice was palpable. We signs are truly fortunate to have you with us, Ayame. Now, when last we spoke, I said that I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you have already met. Tataro, please show them in. This way, sirs. Ah. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. It's Biggs and Wedge. But I don't think we've properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... Gods, man, spin it out, will you? Wedge at your service. I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as airships were ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we Scions should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, for this we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow. On behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea. And I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Alright, so there we go. Now, Biggs and Wedge are over here, part of the science, and let's see what Minfilia has for us to do next. Needs you to investigate the Sylphs. Now, having set aside the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. Urianger. Have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. 
We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida, us! All right, so we're gonna go try and approach the Sylphs and figure out what they do or they're doing. All right, so I think the first thing I want to do is see if I can't get those company seals to get the ability to call my mount, unless I can already do it. Which I will have to check. Alright, so let's actually do that. Uh, we want to go to mounts and see. Unauthorized to summon a mount. So, yeah, no. I cannot do that just yet. And one way we can earn company seals is by participating in fates. All right, so I want to head over there, so I'll be back in a second. All right, we are now at the fate. We're at the level sink. Feral packs of diseased dogs roam the desert attacking anyone carrying anything resembling food or anyone resembling food for that matter. Put the beast down before poor a poor Lalafell becomes lunch. All right, so we're just going to kill these things. So 
actually going to kill a lot of them. And we'll see how... And these things are just going to get in the way. So now that symbol means... That that AoE attack will only affect you if you're looking at... The enemy and standing in the AoE area. So either get out of the cone or turn away. Luckily, these are fairly easy to kill. Almost there. Only one or two more. Alright, that got us 57 company seals. Not a ton, but it's a start. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel back to Limsa. And there's another way to get uh, company marks or company seals. That's by turning in gear. I think I have a couple of pieces of gear that I could possibly turn in for seals. I'll have to see if I do. So, no, that's not it. Can I not do a delivery mission? Uh, let's see, what do we have? Provisioning, export delivery. No, it does not look like they're taking anything. Uh, completing it, oh, sorry, I clicked through that. I can probably ask again. Grand company related quests. The other methods include assisting in the resolution of fate, completing grand company hunting objectives, or undertaking supply and provisioning missions. Company seals are also awarded. Completing company lefts, which are issued by one of the company lev officers found across the Eorzea. Jointly by the grand companies. See the location of the Morabi Dry Docks, Lower Lenosha, the Hawthorne Hut, East Shroud, Camp Drybone. We could head to Morabi Dry Docks, I guess. Here's the hunt board. I'm not sure I can actually do the hunts. But doing lev quests in Morabi Dry Docks might not be a bad idea.
So the easiest way to do it is just teleport, Morabi dry docks. I think we actually have to unlock the Lev quest there first before we can actually run any of them. Yep, right there. Alright. R01, the Avengers Guild representative for local love quests and Morabi Drive Docks. I seek you an adventure and take guild labs. My greeting is Adventurer. I am R01, a representative of the Adventurers Guild. As a live meet station here at the Morabi Dry Docks, I am responsible for assigning the various tasks that comes in from the beleaguered locals. Work is not necessarily simple or safe, thus I would first gauge the limits of your abilities by setting you a trial assignment. Take a moment to peruse the task outlined in this guild lev. Do you believe yourself up to the challenge? Alright. The deadliest catch. Uh, most megalocrabs feed on fish they find in tidal pools or washed up on shore. There's a variety of crab, however, which prefers the flesh of man over that of marine life. These terrible wave kin are called big claws and must be put down before they injure any more of Candlekeep Key's residence. It is almost impossible, however, to distinguish a big claw from a normal megalocrab. That is, unless the core of a lightning elemental is used. When shocked, the shell of a big claw will turn bright red, making it an easy target. Alright. Very well, let's see what you can do. Ah, before we begin, I have a word of advice. Acquire some cores from the lightning sprites. Use the cores on the crabs, and you'll soon discover which creatures are the big claws. That's what it said. The necessary cores by defeating lightning sprites. Use these cores on the crabs to identify and simultaneously weaken your guild lab objective. Alright, so. On the map, the green circle area is where the lab is actually going to take place. Also a fate here, which I'm not going to worry about the fate. Alright, so what we need to do... Is... Kill lightning sprites. That's right, we actually have to initiate the love quest. Because we have actually two different things. We have the love quest and we have the quest to do the love quest. So it's a bit confusing. Alright, let's initiate. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Do it. Recommended level plus four is recommended level 20. Yeah, we can do a plus four. Use a lightning. Defeat lightning sprites. We just killed two of them. So I guess I have to find some more lightning sprites. Oh, there's probably over there. Suspicious Megala Crab. Now there's some lightning sprites. Okay. You need to hit the ones that have the little icon over there. 
Her name tag. Let's know that's the one that should give us the cores we need. Alright, there we go. We got a core. Use the core on the crab. And there, it's a big wall. Another sprite. There it is. Let's go find another one of these suspicious Megala crabs. See if this is the one we need. Nope. Now, will these lightning sprites give? No, those will not. There's another one up there, I'm not sure if it's part of the lev. one. Oh, I actually didn't use up the other one, so I didn't actually need to do that. That's alright. Oh. There's a big old uh, hunt target. <laughs> Again, sitting right in the middle of where I do my stuff. But it shouldn't attack me. Alright, there we are. Big Claw. Yes. Alright. Complete the task, have you? Then you need only collect your reward. Bonus has been awarded based on difficulty and speed of completion. Alright, so we got some additional gil and some additional EXP and a coral ring. You have performed admirably. I have no qualms about assigning you further work. With a Maelstrom warship under construction here, the military is eager to keep the dry dock safe and secure. They'd be glad to know a stalwart adventurer like you is around, cleaning up these problems one at a time. Alright, so. This is well met. Let's find a lev that suits your talents. We want to do... Battlecraft levs. Now, which of these are the ones that are going to give us... Now, we don't want to do field craft or trade craft. Hold on. Just give me a moment. I'm going to make sure that we do this correctly. Ah, okay. I just realized that it is a different NPC. Well, I looked it up. It is a different NPC that gives the Grand Company Labs. And you had to unlock the levs to, to even be able to see them in the first place. 
All right, where is this guy? Oh, he's upstairs. There he is, Storm Sergeant Eugene. I am Storm, Sar Storm Sergeant First Class Eugene Rivers, charged with the issuing of Grand Company Lev Quests. Yep. Supply and provisioning missions? No. Alright, Grand Company Lev Quests are various one-man tasks that have been deemed too important or dangerous to place in the hands of a normal adventurer. The Orzean Alliance Charter states that the Grand Company Lev Quests are to be made available to all adventurers listed in the Grand Company, regardless of allegiance. However, grand companies will often provide members with bonuses for undertaking their own company's levs. Also, other bonuses rewarded based on performance. Alright. They're going to give us seven seals. Oh no, 138 seals with a bonus of seven. Okay. Let's see. Victory is mine, not yours. A serpent reavers sail this very moment toward the Moorabi shipyard. Eternal besmirching the honor of the maiden of a maiden most fair. The victory slumbers in her dry dock, still but half a ship. In the name of the maelstrom, you are hereby bid to intercept the pi piratical fleet and speak to them in tongues of fire. Okay, what is this one? The goblin, Wormwick Scribble Talk, wanted for trafficking in forbidden tomes, has arrived in Vilbrand. There's every sign that he has upon his person another of his terrible tomes, loathsome leaves, leaves of which hold a void scent. Allow not the creature to slip its bonds, nor the miscreants to escape your justice. Okay, so I guess we will, we'll just go ahead and accept them both. And we need to head to Lower Lenosha. Oh, which is right here. Right outside town. Really, really want my chocobo. Alright, throw the book at him. Let's see, let's do this. Uh, let's initiate and see what we have to do. Feed any enemies summoning reinforcements. Wormwick's scribble talk. There he is. Oh, he's. Death word. Oh, he's summoning. I can deal with that. All right, he's gonna just gonna keep. Summoning Void Scent. Whoop, whoop. Don't want to be anywhere near a bomb when it's going to go off. I think I must have missed. Oh, he's summoning again. Oop, a flan. Moldy pudding. Sounds pleasant. Not want to return yet because we have another quest to do first. All 
All right, we're going to initiate this quest. Defeat as many enemies as possible within the allotted time. All right. Where in the world are they? Oh, they're scouted all over the place. All right. So we have four minutes and 40 seconds to defeat as many of these guys as we can. Objective failed if insufficient number of enemies are slain, which we only need to slay one of each. A butcher and a deckhound. I don't see a deckhound. Well, an outranger and another butcher. There's a deckhound. Two of them. here. Alright. There's two more deckhounds and a butcher. Grab the other deckhound. Right, we are down two minutes and ten seconds. Oh, I do not want to get that many guys in here. Come on, come on, over here, over here. Two of them. Don't want to be in there. Don't be in there either. One minute to go. Probably gonna be the last one. Yeah, 
Five seconds left. There we are. One and done. And we are going to return to the limb meat. All right, let's turn these in. Collect rewards. Your contribution has been noted. Storm Private Third Class Yatsurugi and your seals prepared. A bonus has been awarded based on Grand Company enlistment and difficulty. All right, complete. And we got a bunch of bonuses. Very good. 78 bonus seals complete. There we are. So now we should have 447 Grand Company seals. So if I return. And then head to the aft castle. Oh, there's a mission here. Let the hunt begin. Yes, okay, so yeah, the, the hunts you can only start really doing at level 50. What does a storm commander have for us to do, by the way? Ah, suggest you look into having a personal chuggable issue. Yes, that's what we want. This isn't Private Yatsurugi. I s must say the tales of your deeds have been an inspiration to the troops. Our duties take us far and wide, and I'll wager you've slogged across quite a few moms of countryside on aught but your own two feet. The sterling soldier of the Maelstrom deserves her own steed. Let us see about having one issued for you. All you need to do is abstain, obtain a storm trickable license by exchanging company seals with the quartermaster. Once you have this deed, present it to uh, Frey Game, Frey Gaim, and she will see you saddled upon one of our trusty birds. That's precisely what I just got all those seals to do. So we need the Storm Chocobo Issuance. Can I actually like sell those? Storm Chocobo Issuance. There we go. And present them to who? Ah, the Chocobo Keep down near the exit of the city. So head back to the 8th right plaza. Trickable keep. What a bird issued, you say? Then I'll need to see your storm trickable issuance, which I have one of those. Yes, yeah, so everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. And here he is. The fellow has been in high spirits the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you want to give your noble steed a name. Oh. Goodness, I got to name the bird. All 
All right, name my chocobo. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Now I gotta think of a name. Uh, all right, well, give me a minute. I'll be back once I've decided upon something. Okay, I've decided to name my chocobo Arashi, which is Japanese for storm. There we go. So now I have my chocobo. Well, not quite. I dare say he likes his name. Here is your very own chocobo whistle, simply blow into it, and your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do forgive him if he doesn't respond when summoned in a crowded city areas or monster infested lairs. Chocobos are stout hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present you with your chocobo rider's license as is required by law. And that concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Complete. All right. So, if we bring this up, use the whistle, and I can now summon my mount, which we're going to head right outside the city, and summon our chocobo, and then probably call this an episode. Alright, so we want to go, and we want to do mounts. You have our company chocobo. Put that on the bar. And there we are. We have our mount now. I have several other mounts that I could also use, but we'll use the company chocobo for a while. All right. So with that, we will go ahead and call this an episode, and we will continue on working on something else when we get back. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.